Hello, I'm Anthony Hudson. Not often we have the roof open for a night match, but that's the case tonight. Gary Lyon is with me today. Welcome, Gaz. Hi, Hutto. Tonight we have got an exciting match. Taking the field tonight will be Carlton and GWS Giants. Cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The banners are looking great. It's a big midfield battle today. Whichever team can get on top in the middle of the ground will walk out winners today. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp. And the crowd are appreciating it. I'm really looking forward to seeing how they play today. Good call, Hutto. The captains of both sides make their way to the middle for the coin toss. Carlton wins the toss. Halfway through the season, and the competition evolves again. Time to find out which teams evolve with it and who gets left behind. You can almost draw a line through a few teams at this point in the year, but there's still time to see some movement in the eight. If you want to be a chance, you have to be winning some big games right now. Neither side inside the top eight. And they're looking to build some confidence with a win today. Players head to their positions as we prepare for the opening bet. And we kick off proceedings with the opening bounce. Dishes it off to a player on the run. Great tackling there, Hutto. Gets the handball away. Marking in space for Floyd. He likes his chances from here. He kicks that goal with purpose. He's enjoying every second of it out there. That's his first. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. Loy gets the first goal of the match. It's great to watch, Hutto. Plenty of excitement. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. Center bounce. Jacob thrashes it. Taranto finds possession. He might kick a goal. Drop part straight through the middle. Green kicks his first. Gets a reward for his efforts. The Giants cleat Carlton. 12 to nothing. GWS Giants aren't making the most of their hitouts. It's going straight to the opposition. Marks now and can send it back. Slams it on the boot. A strong mark in the pack from Pittenet. Got boot to ball. He gives chase to the footy. Applies a bump. Wins the race to the ball. Whitfield picks up the loose ball. Put his body on the line. Betts uses the bump. Gathered by Taranto. Movement by hand. Doing well was Hopper. Quickly onto the boot. An easy grab for Himmelberg. Hurry kick. Reed marks. Bit of, bit of space. GWS Giants for allowing too many marks inside the opposition 450. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. He's enjoying that goal. We resume hostilities. Clears the contest. Murphy gets the ball. Easily takes the mark. He's a long way from home, but he might have the wheels. Silvani heads for home. It's a huge kick, and it goes all the way. That will settle his nerves. Gets his first on the ball. Off hands. They get around him after that effort. Jacob got a fist to it. He gets his hands on the footy. 
Nice work from Simpson. Sinks the slipper into it. Takes the mark all by himself. Cameron with the opportunity in front of goal. 65 metres out. He slams it towards goal. Ends up turning this ball over. The kick from Jones. Mark by Green. This will have to be his very best kick to score from this far. He heads for home. A long effort at goal, and it goes all the way. He's got a couple now, starting to get into this game. Green celebrating hard. Back with another centre bounce. Pitnett won it down. Used the hands and gives away the free. Puts it on the boot. Terrific mark there. Jones moves it now. Open opportunity for Doherty. Elects to kick. Gives the old don't argue. Charged down by Taranto. Fantastic pressure there. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? I'm really enjoying this one, Hutto. Turned it over. Hits the target by hand. He wins possession. Himmelberg takes a strong mark. Does well to cut off the kick. The Giants haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Giving it off was Walsh. Almost cut it off. Bound away to keep balance with a driving kick. Stands tall and marks. Looks up with a kick. Great mark under pressure. Kicks it long. Cornelia gets him hard. The free kick going against Murphy. Cornelia puts it on the boot. Good mark by Ward. Looks to move it by foot. Finds a target. Cripps collects the kick. Takes a simple grab. McKay kicks it. A mark by Murphy. Tips it towards half four. Silvani gets in a good position. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. GWS Giants forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Williams won himself a free. Williams sends one up towards the wing. A race for the loose ball. Kerno just landed in his back. Ward goes with the kick. Finds a bit of room to mark. Rushes with the kick. And the mark will be paid. 45 metres out. Going for goal number one. He delivers with a drop mark. This one gives them a bigger lead. Pretty happy with that one. GWS Giants have kicked back-to-back -back goals. GWS Giants stressed the lead to four goals. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. The game is back underway. GWS Giants needs to be more aware of the opposition set up at the stoppage. Their hitouts are getting cut off too easily. Whitfield takes it strongly. Chose to kick it. It's a foot race to get this one. Shipley creates a contest. Outstanding pressure. Just gets it onto the boot. Perryman unloads one towards goal. Just as the post and a minor score. GWS Giants lead by 25. A chance to gather the ball. The siren sounds and that's the end of the opening term. The score GWS Giants 31 to Carlton 6. GWS Giants should be pleased with how they've started. If they can build on that quarter, they'll be hard to stop. The game was fairly open for the first quarter with plenty of goals to be had.
What can you tell us from the stats, Gaz? The Blues are giving up too much free space on the opposition. They're allowing them too much room and easy contested ball. Thank you, Gaz. The second term ready to get underway. We're back in the middle now. Big thump from Jacobs. Takes possession. Green getting in on the act. That is a stunning goal. Three goals so far. Great start. This kick puts them further into the lead. Smiles all round. Back in the middle as the Rucks go at it. Thump clear. Fighting hard was Taranto. He lays off the pass. Got hands to it. Cameron going for number one. You can see that happening right after it left his ball. GWS Giants, 38, Clay, the Blue Six. Jones, ready to bring it back into play. Goes with the kick. Plowman picks it up, manufactures the handball. He gains possession, drives it out of the pack. Green gathers it now. Manages to get a hand away. Just gave it away. A bit too hard with a push. And it's a free kick. Cameron uses it by foot. So what can GWS Giants do with this opportunity in front of goal? Going for goal number one. What a fantastic goal. He's excited about that one. GWS Giants doing well at the moment. Umpire ready to resume play. Jacob thumped it clear. The bounce made it tough for Langdon. McKay comes away with the ball. He's got the footy in his hands. Great mark in the pack. Williams sends one up towards the wing. With a driving kick. Murphy runs after this one. They can create from this. Has it now. Silvani just threw it. Puts boot to ball. A great mark taken there. Big kick required from this distance. Over the top of the pack. 40 metres from home. Shipley lights his chances from there. That kick was pure. Yes, I know. This kick stretches the lead. Celebrating hard. That's five in a row for GWS Giants. The margin is 44. Guides it down. The ball in the hands of Cripps. A good mark out of the circumstances. 35 metres out. You'd expect this one to sail through the middle. Reed has a chance to put a second goal on the board. GWS Giants lead is now at 45. He takes the mark. Slams it on the boot. Kennedy with the mark. Looks to move it by foot. Marks that ball uncontested. GWS Giants just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside foot. The sting has been taken out of the game right now. Wins the ruck duel. Fights the good fight. Murphy kicks out of the congestion. Pittenet couldn't hang onto the ball. Takes a nice mark. Green goes for territory. Cornelia with an easy mark. Looks up with a kick. The mark has been taken. Kerno drives the kick. Picking it up was Hopper. Uses it now. Ward found some space and marked. This will certainly test him from this distance. Going for goal number one. Hits the post and it's a minor. GWS Giants lead by 46. Deciding where to go with the kick in. Shipley decides to go it alone. Finding the loose ball was Jones. The ball finds Archback. Heads wrong with that kick. 
Sheridan takes the mark. Decides to kick. Wiedering gets on the end of this. Wiedering kicks it to the square. Just kicks it long. Dug out the loose ball. Collected by Kuno. The umpire calls for a stoppage. Won the hit out. Finds the loose ball. Kuno powers through the tackle. Caught. Read it best. Taranto with the ball. Dug out the loose ball. Gets it out of congestion. Marking in space for Cameron. This is kickable by his standards. Normally a good shot on goal. Going for goal number one. He pops through the goal. And increase their lead. His teammates rush over. Now they lead by 52. The umpire set the bounce to restart the game. Moves it by foot. That tackle just too high. Cuts the kick inboard. Intercepts the ball well. Moves the ball by foot. They can create from this. Well, this game is really getting out of hand. Jacob won the hit out. Difficult ball control. Rushes with the kick. Couldn't quite nail that kick. GWS Giants doing well at the moment. The Giants have been poor with their ball use. They've turned it over on too many occasions and it's allowing the opposition chances to score. Nunes uses it by foot. Snaffled up by Doherty. Racking up possessions now. One down by Jacobs. Puts on a big hit. Now we've got a ball up. An intriguing first half as it stands. GWS Giants 59 play Carlton 6. GWS Giants will go into the rooms at halftime with plenty of confidence and back themselves for the second half. Let's check out the stats. GWS ready to begin proceedings in the second half. We're back in the middle to resume play. Hammers it. Jacob on the ball. Good body work to win the mark. GWS Giants haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. Open opportunity for Simpson. Goes by foot. Ends up turning this ball over. Green kicks it. The ball ends up with Jacobs. 35 metres out. They can't afford to be wasting these shots of goal from the corridor. He decides to go for home. The Giants supporters delighted by that effort. Look at them celebrate that effort. GWS Giants could kick seven unanswered goals. The lead is now 59. Has a runner alongside him. Cornelio sends it clear of the contest. Doesn't hold on to the mark. Jones not getting much of it, Gaz. He needs to find a way into this game. GWS Giants, but 60. Weighing up the options now. Great mark under pressure. Advantage is taken. McGovern keeping it low. Takes an uncontested mark. Clearing kick out of the defensive 50. He drives it. The contest, no match for him. That's true, Hutto. Keeps it moving. He can take off after that handball. Goes by hand to McKay. McKay just threw it. Langdon moves it now. A mark by Sheridan. GWS Giants have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Marks now and can send it back. Puts it on the boot. An easy grab to ball. Wants to keep moving. Nice hands. Cameron sets his sights on the goals. Not sure if he has the journey from here. Sinks the slipper into it. Takes the mark. 
Sheridan doesn't want to let his teammates down with this kick. 45 metres out. Bit of an angle for this kick. Going for goal number one. The drop part size between the big sticks. This lead getting bigger now. Sheridan loves that goal. GWS Giants with the edge right now over the Blues. About to resume hostilities. Punches are clear. Green with a clean collect. Cameron was taken high in the tackle. Elects to kick. Wiedering looks to get onto the football. Missed the target. Wants to keep it moving. Whitfield will be upset with that. Another goal here, and this game could be well and truly over. McKay with a punch. Ward gets the loose ball. Gathers it now. Using every ounce of energy he has left. The drop punt goes straight between the big sticks. He puts through his first goal. His kick has extended their lead. He celebrates hard after that. We're back in motion. Punched away. He's got the footy in his hands. DeBall receives the ball. Sends it clear of the contest. A drop punt through the goal. Himmelberg puts them further in front. He's excited about that one. GWS Giants have kicked 10 unanswered goals. 78 points the difference. Slapped away. Gets the ball out of heavy traffic. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Uses it by foot. He looks like he needs a spell. Ball gets cut off. We'll have another ball up. Jacobs won the hit out. Decides to soccer it. Using every ounce of energy he has left. Coughed up by Nunes. Gets a quick kick away. Walsh quickly onto the boot. Is accepted. Taranto links up with a chance to run. A chance to reload the attack now. Got boot to ball. A good mark under the circumstances. Goes with the kick. Mark by Hall. Uses it by foot. Good mark there. De ball choosing to play on. Goes by foot. He wins the ball in the air. Jacobs on top of the ranking points. He's on fire at the moment. Can he put it through? Trying to go up for GWS Jones. Jacob love kicking that one. Now they lead by 84. Back in the middle. One down. He wins possession. Brings it out of the pack. Shipley dug out the loose ball. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. You're right, Hanno. He's gone missing lately. He hasn't seen much of the footy. It has to be a big kick to get it from there. Lloyd goes for broke. Ball spills. Jones to kick it in. Strong mark in the contest. The kick from Walsh. Core leaps over the top. Chose to kick it. GWS Giants in front by 85 at the end of the third quarter. GWS Giants will want to keep the foot on the accelerator and finish this last quarter strongly. Anything you can see, Gary? GWS Giants have got on top in the contested possessions. It's one of the... We have one quarter of footy ahead of us. Let's go. They need to get a move on if they're going to win from here. Jacob got the tap. Opportunity for Cornelio. Goes by hand. Picked up by Marchbank. Licks with hands. Pittnet rushes with the kick. What an unbelievable mark. Strong mark. Puts boot to ball. Taking a nice grab. 
hold on to the ball for a few moments and just take the sting out of the game. Doing well to intercept that kick. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. GWS Giants, forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Strong with the body and wins the mark. Fence must kick this goal. That's a well-executed kick for a goal. He's enjoying every second of it out there. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. Carlton now only trail by 79. He did really well there and gets the reward. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. It's been a clearance game, and right now, GWS Giants are on top in that area. Putting on the bump was Green. Wins the race to the ball. Murphy couldn't complete the tackle. Nunes gains some territory. He drives it. Cleanly picked up. Well, supplies a bump. Penetrating handball. He gets another possession. Just through the ball. Converting these opportunities could make a big difference to today's result. This will have to be his very best kick to score from this far. He goes for broke. A good result there, and that's a goal for Carlton. That's two now, finding his feet in front of goals. They kick the goal to stem the flow. Are we about to see a shift in this game? Pittenet just slaps it down. Lang, the better man there. Elects to kick. The mark is taken by Martin. Drives the kick hard. Popper takes it well. Stabs at the kick. Green wins the mark in contest. Cuts the kick inboard. Took his eyes off the ball. Just landed in his back. Sinks the slipper into it. Green marks. He flicks it over. Perryman throws the ball away. Decides to go to the middle. Doherty uses the body well. Now with a low spearing kick. Good mark and looks to send it back. Got the hands free. Hopper gets the ball. Ball picked up. The ball's knocked loose. He's got the football now. He gains possession. At full stride, receives the handball. He can take off after that handball. Trips will be ruined that opportunity. Carlton close the gap to 72. Searching for a teammate. They chase after the loose ball. Williams drives it out of the pack. Couldn't take it. The loose ball scooped up. The kick towards goal. A time to celebrate. And don't they get around Casbolt. A couple more goals here, and they would fancy themselves a chance. Beautiful tackle, Hutto. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. They just need to find a way to work back into the game right now. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. One it down. Plowman down. Pittenet has had plenty of it, Gaz. He's been superb today, Hutto. Great attack on the ball, Captain. GWS Giants doing well at the moment. Simpson hangs on to that one. GWS Giants just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Plowman won himself a free. Wiedering gets on the end of this. Got boot to ball. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Decides to kick. He gives chase to the footy. Himmelberg slams it onto the boot. Good grab there from O'Brien. Moves it by foot. It's marked by Wiedering. GWS Giants just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. O'Brien slick with the hands. Ball off hands. 
Langdon making his way onto the field. The umpire will ball it up. McKay clears the contest. Shipley applying the pressure. Coaches love to see that kind of tackling pressure. Does well to cut off the kick. Kick by O'Brien. Doherty marks in a bit of space. He spears the ball. He looks like he needs a spell. Gives away a free for in the back. Cuts the kick inboard. Perryman did well to win that ball. It's a long kick. Great grab. Gets it away. He has the ball. Shipley gets the loose ball. Marchbank puts it on the boot. Martin spills it. Scoops it up. Lang there to mop up. Is in his possession. Gets the loose ball. The ball goes to ground. Slips the handball to Betts. Gives it to Silvani. Kicks hurriedly. Gets into a good position to take that. 20 metres from home. An ideal position to be kicking from. He was celebrating that goal the moment it left his boot. He's absolutely loving it. Why not? Another goal. He's kicked a couple now. It's home. Can that goal be the spark? Casbolt couldn't be happier with that goal. Carlton were really poor today. What were your thoughts on the match, Gas? You can look at a game like this two ways. You can look at it as a waste of time, or you can find the positives and take it as a learning experience and not let it happen again. Final scores at 92 to 31. Well, that's all we have time for. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Gaz. It's been my pleasure, Hutto, and we look forward to having everyone back soon.